Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm really excited because I finally get to show off Lone Star. I've been really enjoying this game. We got to play a demo a while back, like three or four months ago. But um, I got a key to this a few weeks ago. Uh, it comes out tomorrow on the 19th. It is a roguelike deck builder, kind of, but more of like an engine builder. Um, with roguelike deck builder elements, it has some Slay the Spire feel. Uh, so basically we're like a space bounty hunter, but you'll see as we go through, um, what's going on. I, the best way to, like, explain this game is to show it, I think. So we're gonna pick this, uh, ship that lets us swap, uh, things. There's a lot of unlockables and a lot of characters. You might also notice that there's, uh, cat captain, cat captains, um, yeah, that's the thing in this. So one of the coolest parts about this game is the uh, the starting choice of your character. Um, each captain has an inherent talent, um, which there are. Well, let me show you. There are a lot of captains. If you look at pilots, these are all the pilots. So each one of these has a unique skill. And then there's random talents. And each one of these random talents um, is you know, randomly assigned when you go to pick your uh, character here. Now you can reroll if you want. You can also um, pick a specific captain if you choose to. Um, I'm just going to, you know, do whatever I want here. I kind of don't love Master Dong Dong, and I hate that because <laughs> his name is Master Dong Dong, and I love that his name is Master Dong Dong. But I don't think restoring HP for coins is like the great ability. Um, you're regarded as all races. That seems interesting. So there's a lot of events in between. There's fights and then events. And it's like a consistent thing. Um, the time cost of revealed treasure. Okay. Let's, let's try Master Disguise Vaughn. And then we're playing a difficulty two. Uh, I don't know how high it goes up to because it's getting it gets quite hard. So I think this is going to release an early access, if I'm not mistaken. But um, anyways, here's what we have going on. Also, you can change this to cat symbols or cards or whatever you want. Or caps, paws, however you like it. I like the kitty cats because, well, that's just how I am. So um, basically, before every fight, you get to see what uh, enemy you're fighting. So you kind of know what you're going up against. And then... The deck building part of this game is basically this. So you have your ship here, and this is how you're going to... This is what you're going to use to activate your ship's abilities. Um, these uh, attack units are like the core of the game. And then you'll use support units to buffer that. And then you have these energy resources down here that you have a number and a color. Uh, orange is the highest color. White is the lowest color. And then the number is like one through five, I think, to start with. But you can these all these things can be changed <laughs> throughout the run. And basically what you're trying to do is. I have to read for a second. What you're trying to do. Is beat your opponent's number here. And then you win this little like space duel. Now the important part is this durability uh, thing because if you break an enemy shield, they get stunned for a turn, and that's when you can really like cash in on your damage. Uh, this turn doesn't look great, but uh, because we are the swap ship, what we can do is we can move. Uh, you have fuel, so you can move one thing, one space a turn, and you'll reset at the end of the start of the next turn. Um, and then we can do something like something like this, and then move this here, and then like that, and then he's paralyzed. This way, he's a swap ship. The other ship uh, just has like a shield. I think this one's stronger but it does require a little more, a uh, little more thanky. Uh, oops. 
Did I still not? Oh, because I'm hitting. Yeah, so this thing only takes one damage, so I actually have to spread it out. So yeah, the game has good info on everything. I like, when I got access to the game, I mentioned one of the things I thought was weird was the horizontal thing is called columns, which I thought was really strange because columns are up and down, right? Um, but, and I emailed uh, my contact at the, at the dev, uh, you know, <laughs> the people who sent me the key. And uh, they basically told me, it's like, well, the devs thought, you know, because the ship is facing forward, that's columns. I was like, okay, cool. So what they did is they changed it. So um, if we, we'll see one eventually that uh, now after I mentioned that, like a week or so after the game was updated and now when it references column or something like that, it shows which direction on the unit, which is really nice. So then you have, so then what you're doing is after every fight, you're refilling a fuel picking a unit, potentially some relics that are kind of treasures that are like relics in Slay the Spire, and trying to build up your ship to be as powerful as possible because the game gets very difficult. Um, after loading an energy, generate the same number of white energy as a loaded energy. After loading an energy, generate the same number of white one energy as I don't want that charge five so charge is like like a keyword um what's this your regard is all races the time cost of revealed treasure unit events they don't have any treasure unit events i don't really think i care about star coins and then there's this event phase where you have a big selection of things you could possibly do. Start of battle, all initial attack units in two power. Start of battle, generate one six point energy. 50% chance to gain plus. Oh, so you can also upgrade units. Uh, so we got ended up with uh, this, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll just do this. And then you have a certain amount of weight on your ship, which goes up throughout the run. And then you go back to another fight and you repeat and the fights get harder. Uh, there's three um, sections. There's basically two minion fights, an elite fight, and then a boss fight. And then you do that three times and that's the run. And they end up being about 45 minutes long in my experience. So if I slot this in, that's not going to charge it. So let's do... Let's do this here. Let's do this. I'm gonna put this in here to start like getting it charged. Um, we could take a little bit of damage if we want. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just take, we'll just take some. Uh, you full heal at the end of every act, which is what we're gonna call this. Like when you become one star, two star, uh, three star. I don't know if there's like a final thing after that. You know how, uh, again, to reference Slay the Spire just because that's like the the best point of reference I can think of. Hmm. So this time we're going to move down here and uh, kill him. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. And you get one fuel back every fight, so there's no reason not to dodge stuff. All right, compatible core. When loading one orange unit, gain power or gain strength. Strength is just like bonus uh, points for that turn. When loading energy, gain one. When loading one point orange energy, gain one. When loading orange energy, gain one power. Oh, power is persistent. Um. I guess I'll take the orange energy core. It's not like that great. All right, this is where this guy's thing comes in handy because this is normally two days. Lose orange energy core, gain that. Lose this, gain central turbo. After loading, if it's at the central, 
These are like some very medium chain <laughs> exchanges here. I mean, Central Turbo is pretty good. Because you do need some type of scaling throughout the run. Um, I'm going to take the supercharging core. We can switch that out. Then we have three days left, so I don't think days are going to carry over is the only problem. Ugh. Okay, that should be fine. Some some uh, captains have energy that or have days that'll carry over. What's this guy doing? Upon reaching zero durability, all attack units gain one power. Oh, I see. So we want to kill him rather quickly. Let's do. Like, this and that and then that. We're not off to a good start here. Because all of his stuff is going to get stronger now. But he is stunned for a turn, which is good. Just putting that there is pretty helpful. I think I'm probably supposed to just pass here. Since our energy carries over. At least that's what I'm thinking. Hopefully that was not a poor decision. This, this goes here, this can go here, and this, like... It's awkward. So... <laughs> Maybe we go like this? And then move this over here. And then hopefully we can do 16 to him on this turn. Which we should be able to, because this thing is getting power each turn. So, like, that's 8 by itself. And then 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have 16. Easy. Okay. Elite guy down. He was slightly more difficult than the others. And then we get a treasure for the elite. When attack unit gains power, gains strength equal to its power. That's quite good. Um, and then we also have another spot for a thing. Oh, we have... We can actually hit double treasure and a question mark. Gain one common treasure. 60% chance to gain a rare treasure. 40% chance to gain a legendary treasure. Okay, well... <gasps> Okay, that's really good. When loading an orange energy, we deal two damage to the enemy. You can make a whole... I've made entire builds around this item. Or this relic treasure. It's treasure. I should start calling it treasure. Um, yeah, you can do some disgusting combos with this. Um, lose nine star coins. Gain one rare slash legendary treasure. Diamond membership. Okay. Building blocks. For each newly gained unit, increase your max HP by one. That's actually not terrible. I'm not going to do this. So I'm not going to take any damage to go into the next fight with no... Uh, <laughs> with <laughs> less X HP against the boss. Alright, this guy is kind of annoying. Um... You're going to hit him and he's going to like nullify the damage for the most part. I'll say this game also plays incredibly well in Steam Deck. Um, 
I'm probably supposed to charge this. Feels like that's right. And then this. I'm probably supposed to move down here. And then maybe throw a two on here for some extra... Oh no, it's all doing the, the same amount of damage, right? Because these are stupid ghosts. <laughs> these damn ghosts. Okay, so now I can actually hit through these, uh, these spots here. Of note, we are still actually like dying right now, but it should be okay. World War Two. Um, ew, not great. Taking eight? I really don't like taking eight here. But what's the alternative? Like, uh, the alternative is. not good so i'm just gonna we're just gonna take eight <laughs> it is what it is he moved up which is super interesting okay now we can we can do this pretty easily put that there Hit these two. He's broken on the bottom. We should be able to do 22 this turn. Maybe. Maybe not. That's 10. That's 10. And then we have 15. Alternatively, I could throw this in here. We have three swaps. Is the other thing to remember. There you go, got him. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle game. <laughs> and then we get all our stuff back. And new treasure. Um, if the enemy loaded on an attack unit, if the energy loaded on attack unit is the last energy in your hand, gain five strength. If the at the start of the second turn, increase all energy points in your hand by two. Um, so if this, so if you use up all the energy in your hand, you get five strength. If you on your second turn, you get a massive boost. This is close. These are about even. This is every turn, though. Whereas this is potentially only the second turn. I'm going to take Embers. And then you get a unit that's almost always a legendary and one, like, upgraded one. When the attack unit behind loads a one-point energy, the unit does not occupy a slot and grants one strength. That's pretty good. When an orange energy is loaded in a nearby attack unit, it gains three strength that's also pretty good also these units have weight i didn't mention that before but because that's like the weight system because some units will take two some will take zero i haven't found any that take three yet but they probably exist i'm gonna take this legendary you can only do things with um huh we could go for fuel Maybe get more max fuel. Gain 10 star coins. Enter the shop. A hidden shop. I haven't been reading the text. There's a lot of there's a lot of like lore text to all of these events too. Um reading it would make this video a lot longer though. So I didn't want to do that. Um let's 
gain 10 star coins and enter the shop. So the shops are going to have four units and then three uh, relics to pick from. If an attack misses during the showdown, the strength will be this column will be retained during, until next turn. That's insane. When an attack unit gains power, it gains two strength. That's also very good. Um, I don't know what to buy. You could just boomerang and armor pierce. You could also boomerang and piggy bank. I'm going to boomerang and then take piggy bank. I have two days left. We're going to go to unknown. And here's where we can edit the numbers in our thing. And then you can mess with them again. I don't really want to change this, I don't think. <laughs> and then do we want to... I was going to say, do we want to equip this? Anyway, that's first act finished. Move on in a second, and the guys are going to get harder now. Um, loads of one point energy. I guess, you know, I could have changed my energy to have a bunch of one point energy stuff and synergize with this, but I don't know. That probably would have made more sense, huh? Hindsight. Look, there's a lot going on in this game. <laughs> Emergency event. At the start of the battle, a random unit gains association inspection. Association inspection. If this unit hasn't loaded energy, you'll gain eight star coins. At the start of the third turn, remove this buff. Oh. So if I don't use this, I just get eight star coins a turn. That's cool. And then if I actually if I actually beat them on these spots, I'm going to take two damage. That's also great. Cool. Um, let's do this. Let's swap these. And I tie. <laughs> well, this way I'm tying and losing. I don't love that for me. I'm getting money. Oh, the last one gets extra energy, though. Let's swap those and put this here because we have the extra strength. Apparently, we lost power. I think this had one on it. Oh, well. We can take a damage. It's okay. We have one swap left. Oh, now the outside is stronger that's interesting all right we're gonna go here then this and this well i guess i could i could uh do one of these and we have boomerang so we get the we get the stuff back right I get eight power back just naturally that feels good oh he's coming in hot this turn that's frightening Oh, but we could just move up and kill him and take no damage. That seems good. Okay. Okay. Good fight. 
Good fight. Sometimes uh, little decisions save the game. All right, let's start the turn. Load. This one has, weighs two. It's chunky. The unit in front loads one five point orange. For every 10 energy you load, nearby attack units gain one power. I think that one's pretty strong. We have two event days. Um, let's go grab a unit. I don't want to lose star coins. I want to gain star coins. At the start of battle, generate one six. It does help, but it would it be better to put this? <laughs> Maybe we better to like do that. Because then we could put like two ones in this one. So this thing is like doesn't do anything. So what if we put this here? Also, your captains will talk shit to you if you start taking too long. So that's nice. Maybe we just take this out and put this in. All right. This, that's how we're doing this. We've totally revamped our ship. Counter core. Okay, so this one we have to actually be careful about because um, we need to do like a small amount of damage in the first uh, round, not a large amount of damage. Because he's going to be hitting us for a bunch if we do. Yeah, it's too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift up first to avoid his uh, larger attack. Then we get to do this, which is insane that the one... The one point energies don't take a slot. That's why this is legendary, because that effect is incredible. Um, and then we just win. Yeah, so rebuilding our ship there helped. So yeah, this is like a, it's a deck builder, but you can change your whole deck kind of on the fly, depending on what you have. When the last energy in hand is loaded, gain two strength. I mean, that's kind of, we already have synergies with that. Charge the unit in front. Yeah, I don't. Give me that one. One day treasure. Ooh, I don't like losing swap chances, but let's see. And each battle when loading the first energy in hand can generate one identical energy. That's really good with a six orange. At the start of the second turn, gain a fuel. Eh. Start a battle for each fully loaded unit. Generate one white. One point energy. Um, that can be really strong. I think I'm going to take Splinter Cell because we can do some dumb things with it. And then we still have enough days for other stuff. Let's just go to Unknown. Gain a credit card. Your star coins can be overdrafted negative values, but the start of the boss battle you receive damage. No. At the start of a boss battle, deal damage that is equal to half of your current star coins to the enemy. Yes. Yes. Yes, we're just going to do direct damage. Um. Do I want to switch this out with anything? Not really. What is this guy doing? At the end of the enemy's turn, if the enemy's unit in the corpse of opening position is not loaded with energy, deal three damage to the enemy. And shuffle your units. Okay, this is a... This guy's annoying. Basically... 
we have to... Oh, man. It's bad the way we were set up versus this. This is very... This is very not good. Um, here... Here, I should have done the six first. That was a mistake. Wait. Um... I can't do a good swap, and it's gonna, sh at the start of your turn, it's gonna shuffle, so maybe we just don't worry about it. I think I'm gonna save here. We'll just take nine. This is a tough boss, or a tough elite. So now he's targeting these four spaces, which is actually kind of what we want. So I'm going to move into it. We'll take three this time, but that's acceptable. Considering how much damage we actually get to do. Um, and I'm going to save. Well, no, we're not going to save. We do so much damage by plugging in our last unit. That we should be able to defeat him before he gets another attack. Hopefully. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's dead. He's really dead. Okay. Yeah, that, that guy put attacks on us <laughs> to win that fight. Upon generating a one point energy, change it to orange. At the start of the second turn, increase... Okay, let's take the halftime champagne. Energy resource. Um, when loading orange energy. Remove one white energy resource. Yes, please. So that basically means we're more likely to see the other... The blue and orange stuff. And we have three days left. Uh, we'll just go for a treasure. Select one legendary unit to display. Um, if it's legendary, gain one rare unit. I do, I do have a legendary to display. For every eight energy loaded nearby attacks, oh, it's, it's superior that. That's pretty decent. Um. Could also slot that in somewhere. So one other thing you have is you can always call for support. So you can, if you feel like you're in danger, which I kind of feel like I am right now, you can call for a shop or a fuel reply, full a fuel refill or repair, uh, one time per run. I'm not going to do it because I have a lot of coins and I'm going to cash those in. Um, I'm going to do this. Yeah. The Abyssal Dread, Criminal Dave, Danger Level Boss. Dave used to be a deep sea fisherman, but one day he was swallowed by a deep sea fish with exposed bones and ended up being in the endless void of the Lone Star Universe. Um, have plus one power in battle, failed double the soonest power. When taking shit on damage this turn, the enemy takes the same amount of damage. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay, so we just chunked him for 28 because of our uh, our calling card. So we're going to have to duplicate this to start with. He doesn't have any reflect on yet, right? No, this is counting down. And, and the game does a good job of showing when things are counting down. Like, I'm really impressed with the overall, like, polish of said game um drop that there 
Drop that there, drop that there. I don't have slots for my other thing. That's not good. Okay, so we probably need to move here. I think we need to go up. We could go up and use our boomerang to... Uh, retain a bit. I want to put orange stuff in here, but I can't. Unfortunately. These, these are ridiculous. And it, I love that it shows you the preview too. Uh, I will, I will hit you for 21. If we roll three oranges, he just dies right now. Um. We did not roll three oranges. I need to move up. We're going to do this. We're going to take some damage, but it's okay because, again, um, you fully repair after a boss fight. Whew, puzzle time. And now he's dead. My fish, still no harvest today. Poor Dave. I feel a little bit bad. Full heal. Get a treasure. Ooh. Gain one seven point energy resource. So that would go here. Our after slot is loaded with energy. Its color will degrade. Give me the seven. When this unit gains power, it will gain an additional two power. Okay, so... Oh, oh, this gives power and this gives power. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, we've got treasure. Lose 26 star coins. After a slot is loaded with energy, its color will degrade. Or we could try and get it for a five. Okay. We didn't win the election. It's fine. Eternal Stone. At the start of the turn, load the same energy as the previous turn. I'm fine not spending so much because of, like, the degeneracy of what we have here. Double the amount of star coins you own. Um, oh, we got an achievement for having five, 100. Over 100. So... Maybe we could kill the boss without actually having to fight the boss. Wait, what? Oh, we have multiple support, so we can actually use this twice. I forgot. Um, We could go shopping. If we want. I mean, I guess we should just use it anyway. Just to see if there's anything really good. Um, After movement, restore. These are good. I'm kind of like in on this star coin nuke plan right now <laughs> right now. I think that seems to be the build I want to lean to. So again, this game has some crazy synergy combos. Like I'm I've been really happy with it. Um fun generating one point energy change it to orange. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Gain two fuel, like Sure. Whatever. Now that's going to reset. 
Act 2 is completed. And I don't know if it's early access. It says it's like 0.67 version, not 1.0 in the version I have. So I don't know if it's like full release. But um, the only thing I'd like to see is more ships. Because right now there's only two ships and they both have these nine slots. I'd like to see more, especially with all the enemy boss ships that have like crazy patterns. So what is this guy doing? Have two power in battle. If this unit is the foremost unit, doubles its power, randomly transfers it to another attack. Oh, uh, this guy gets stronger the longer the fight goes on. It, the, the frogs like jump back. Um, What are we doing here? We're doing this and this. And probably that, and that, and maybe one of these, and this, and then we'll just slide on up, so we get the boomerang effect, because those are going to go, oh, it's random where it goes to, oh, this is random. Literacy, Jeff. Literacy. Um, when this unit gains power, it will gain an additional two power. I don't see its power, though. Has it not gained it yet? I don't think it has. There it goes. Um, we could take one. It's probably fine. Because now what was likely going to happen is we're going to move up. Yeah, because we we pushed all the frogs down to the bottom row. Lots of lots of strategy in this game. Uh, it's also just again like the perfect uh, perfect Steam Deck game. After loading energy, generate two five point energy, then destroy itself. Maybe, maybe do something with that. I don't know. Star coins. Yep. Take ten. I don't need to take damage because we do need to be able to beat the elite. Uh -oh. Although I do think we're just going to one tap the boss, which is going to be incredible. Let's go. Oh, this one's annoying. So every time I play an energy, these knights are going to move. And they're just going to rotate around. Go there. We have three spots left. I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. And let's just do it this way. I think having boomerang makes the decision a lot easier to just move. All right, now they're attacking like that. Just a little different. that like that we just win all lanes can't go wrong with that can't go wrong with winning all the lanes especially since this thing is scaling incredibly hard i would like to move up perfect <laughs> perfect Okay, crush that guy like he's nothing. Give me more star coins, please. Thank you. Um, the start of the turn, load one one point arm. You know, actually, that's not so bad. Unknown. Let's go to unknown. Enter the shop. The first item you buy is free. 
Yeah, that's fine. Upon triggering charge back, generate one blue point energy. I'm not doing charge stuff. Unfortunately. And I don't want to spend any money. So... I'll take this. Maybe we'll do something with it, but... Sadly. Repair. Maybe we get some fuel. Gain three vacation days? Man, being a master of disguise is pretty useful. Um, swap? Change max swap chance to four or five. Five? We got three swap chances. Okay, that was... That was useful. Okay, Fragile Core. I don't love fighting this guy. At the start of your turn, load one. Is that better than the Orange Core? It's like, it's just a regular Orange Core. When I load an orange, it deals two damage. Just two damage a turn. Every turn. Okay. Oh, I have extra... Oh, it doesn't take any weight. Holy moly. Okay, well that's like... That's way different. Um... Yeah, we could we could do something with that. In emergency event, make it out quick. You receive five extra vacation days your next vacation. And for each turn spent in this battle, one is reduced. So we want to kill this guy very quickly. Cool. Um, so here. And then here. Why did this load two? Also, this should probably be like swapped with this. I'm seeing. Um, I'm gonna move this down here, and I'm gonna move this up to here. At the start of the turn, load one one point orange. Why is it getting two orange energies? I think maybe that's a bug. I don't know. It's tough to tell. Either way, let's just go not so here. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Oh, oh, hamburgers. I could take six. It's fine. This is the elite fight. Being out of fuel is really scary in this game. Because we are very close to dead. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. Um, okay, well that kills him. 
And... That keeps us at 10. Okay, so then we can repair before the final fight. Okay, okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. Increase all damage dealt to enemy by two. Yep, perfect. We gained an extra vacation day. I'm gonna call for a heal. Our fuel? No, just heal. We can upgrade. We have unknowns. We have units. We have treasure. When attack again when gaining attack, no. At the start of the turn, if attacking it failed last turn, no. No. After movement, gain a swap chance. Backup energy is fine. Six days left. We can upgrade something. I think... Well, first of all, this. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't think it's gonna matter, but that's fine. Select four units to remove, gain a legendary unit. Sure. All these things I'm not using. Powerhouse circuit. After loading an energy, gain double strength. Okay. Cool. Um, boss. Energy lock. I hate this boss, by the way. Um, he literally locks your energy. We have one fuel. Not good. We did take out most of his HP to start with. He's... We did a hundred to him. So let's see here. At the start of the turn, load one white point energy. We go here. Deal 100 non showdown damage in battle. I got an achievement for that too. Drop that there. Yeah, so this guy really punish you, punishes you for being energy heavy. Which is not cool. He's kind of like the timekeeper in Slay the Spire. Um... And what is this? Okay, now hopefully we can win on this next turn before things go bad. Oh, yeah, we did. Just from naturally loading damage. Incredible! <laughs> Direct damage attack. We didn't even have a final boss fight. Amazing. But yeah, uh, this game is fantastic. So then you get unlocks. We unlocked Space Racer Mochi. Go, go. Mochi doesn't like to overthink whether in the past as a Space Racer or as a bounty hunter now. He always charges forward. Helmsman. The start of the game gains six max fuel and can move twice per turn. Wow. Normally you can only move once per turn. And Space Doctor Oz. When swapping, the swapped energy units load one blue energy. That's interesting. Also, two new random upgrades. When the start of the game, increase max swap chance by two. Start of the battle, upgrade all support units in the middle column. Interesting. Interesting. But uh, yeah, that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a really fun one. I'm, again, I'm loving it. I've put quite a few hours into it and I continue to, and I plan on continuing to do so. If you want to see a series on this and more let's plays let me know 
Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. The link for the game will be in the description. Uh, it's fantastic. Go check it out. And I will see you tomorrow. Jeff out. Bye. Thank you.